Hi guys, Jeremy here, and in today's video, we're diving into Go High Level's reporting and analytics features. We'll go through the different types of reports available, including Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Attribution, Calls, Appointments, and Agent Reports. I'll show you how each of these reports can provide insights into your business performance and help you make data-driven decisions to boost your results. By the end of this video, you'll know how to utilize Go High Level's reporting tools to track your campaigns, monitor team performance, and optimize every aspect of your business. But before we get started, I have a special offer just for you. Normally, if you go through Go High Level's website, you're going to get a 14-day free trial. However, with my link in the description, you will receive a 30-day free trial. And on top of that, as a big thank you, I'm also giving you access to my full course, Go High Level Jumpstart, which walks you through setting up and launching your business within those first 30 days. Go High Level offers many features and it's easy to get lost. So in my course, I highlight the most important aspects to focus on, helping you start making money using GHL in those initial 30 days. Additionally, you'll receive my top-notch high-quality templates for free, including the Business Hub template for managing your business and the Finance Hub for tracking your finances, among others. They're worth over $900, but you're going to get all of that for free as a thank you for using my affiliate link in the description. Simply click the first link to find all the details about these offers and how to claim them. It's my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. Now let's dive in. To access the reporting and analytics feature in Go High Level, click on the reporting tab in your Go High Level sub account. Now this will take you to the reporting page where you can see data for different aspects of your account. Go High Level provides detailed reporting for various components like Google Ads, Facebook ads, calls, appointments, and much, much more. Let's walk through each type of report to understand what information is available and how you can use it to improve your business performance. First, let's talk about Google ad reports. In this section, you will see metrics like impressions, clicks, conversions, client spend, average cost per click, cost per conversion, and conversion rate. Impressions indicate how often your ad was shown, while clicks show how many times users interacted with your ad. The conversion metric reveals how many users completed an action, such as filling out a form or making a purchase. Now, these metrics help you assess the effectiveness of your ads and make adjustments to improve performance. For example, if you notice a high number of impressions but a low number of conversions, you might need to adjust your targeting or ad copy to better connect with your audience. Next, we have the Facebook ads revenue. These reports contain similar metrics to those found in Google ads, including impressions, clicks, conversions, and client spend. Tracking your Facebook ads is essential because it allows you to measure your return on investment and identify which ads resonate best with your audience. By analyzing this data, you can make informed decisions on where to allocate your budget and which campaigns are driving the most value. Attribution reports are also a powerful tool within GHL's analytics suite. Attribution reporting allows you to see the impact of different campaigns and actions on revenue generation. Now, this report shows you metrics like revenue closed, opportunities won, total leads, and session events. Understanding attribution helps you determine which of your marketing efforts are directly contributing to revenue. For instance, if you notice that a particular campaign has led to several opportunities being won, it can indicate that the messaging and targeting are effectively converting leads into customers. Another important section is the call report. Now, this report provides insights into both incoming and outgoing calls. For incoming calls, you can view metrics like call by status, first time calls by status, and top call sources. Now, this data allows you to evaluate 
how well your team is handling incoming inquiries, and whether there are opportunities for improvement. For outgoing calls, you can track metrics such as call by status and identify the top agents based on their call performance. Now, this helps you assess your team's efficiency and identify any training needs to improve customer service. The agent report provides information on your team's activities and their effectiveness. Here, you can see metrics like opportunities, conversions, and leaderboard that ranks agents based on performance. Additionally, you can track SMS, email, and call metrics to understand how your team is interacting with customers and the impact of their communications. Now, this report helps you identify your top performers and recognize opportunities for further training and process improvements. The appointments report is another key feature in Go High Levels Analytics. Now, this report tracks metrics like booked, confirmed, new, showed, no-show, and invalid appointments. Keeping track of these metrics can help you understand how well your appointment setting process is working and identify areas where improvements can be made. For example, if you notice a high number of no-shows, you may need to adjust your appointment reminders to ensure that clients are more likely to attend. Now that we've covered the different types of reports available in the GHL, let's talk about how you can use the re these reports to improve your business. The metrics available in Go High Level provide insights into nearly every aspect of your business operations, from ad performance to customer service efficiency. By analyzing these metrics, you can make informed decisions and adjustments to optimize your campaigns and improve the customer service. For example, if you notice that your conversion rate for Google Ads is lower than you expected, you might want to adjust your targeting or experiment with different ad creatives to see if they perform any better. Similarly, if your call report shows that certain call sources are leading to more conversions than others, you can allocate more resources to those channels to maximize results. The attribution report helps you understand which campaigns are contributing to revenue generation. Use this information to identify high-performing campaigns and scale them for greater impact. For campaigns that aren't performing as well, you can reevaluate your approach and make adjustments to improve outcomes. Attribution data is especially useful for businesses with multiple marketing channels as it allows you to see the bigger picture and allocate your resources accordingly. Agent reports provide insights into your team's productivity and they help you identify which members are excelling and which may need additional support. Use this data to offer targeted training or reward top performers. For instance, if an agent consistently has the highest conversion rate, you might want to analyze their techniques and share best practices with the rest of the team. Lastly, the appointment report allows you to optimize your scheduling process. If you see a high number of no-shows, consider implementing additional reminders or changing the way that you confirm appointments to reduce cancellations. For example, using automated reminders through SMS or email can significantly improve appointment attendance rates. Understanding and utilizing these reports effectively can give you a clear edge over competitors by ensuring that every part of your business is running efficiently and effectively. So that's it for today's video on Go High Level Reporting and Analytics. We covered the different types of reports available, including Google Ads, Facebook Ads, attribution calls, appointments, and agent reports. We also discussed how to use these insights to make data-driven decisions that improve your campaigns, team efficiency, and overall business performance. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more GHL tutorials. And remember, you can get a 30-day free trial with all the bonuses that I mentioned by clicking the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.